Okay, so we're going to be working on collecting like terms. Now, terms are separated by positive and negative signs, or known as addition and subtraction. Okay? So all of these separate a term, which means we have one, two, three, four, five, six different terms in this question. So we're going to keep that in mind. We're going to simplify these terms by putting terms that are technically alike into one number. Now, each term has a number in front of a variable. Anyone know what those are called? It starts with a C. Yeah, that's right. Those are all called the coefficients, okay? And all of our variables, in this case, happen to be the same uh, symbol to represent each of them, so we have an X. But just because they're all X doesn't mean that they're all technically like terms. We have to look at the exponent of the variable, okay? So the exponent of a variable will separate it from other variables that are written with the same symbol. So what I mean by that, if we have x cubed, the only other terms that are similar to that are other terms that have x cubed to them. So, since we're talking about x cubed, the only two that are technically like terms that deal with x to the value or variable or power of 3 are 4x cubed and 9x cubed. Nothing else is technically a like term to those because they're all to different exponents. In that same case, we're going to look at x squared. We have three terms that fall under being like terms. So we have negative, and always keep that sign in front of you. Think of that value of being negative 7x squared plus 4x squared, and then minus 3x squared, or negative x squared. Okay. And then the other variable we have, even though an exponent isn't written there, what can we say the value of that exponent technically is? One. one, that's right. You could say that's the value of one, which makes it the only term like that. So there's really no simplifying with that term. Okay? Now, let's say I'm going to write a side note, even though it's not a part of this question. Let's say I had the number positive 2 at the end with no variable. Would that be a like term to any of these? Why not? There's no variable, okay? Now, you could say, since we seem to uh, collect them by variables to the same power of exponent, I could say technically there is a variable x to the power of 0. Anyone remember what any number to the power of 0 is equal to? Zero. Zero. Not 0. Two. 1. So if I said it was x to the power of 0, well, I can just replace that with the number 1. And what would 1 times 2 be? 2. It would still be 2. What? Okay? So we could say, when we're grouping like terms, if we have a constant, they're to the variable, uh, same variable, and the exponent of 0, but we don't need to. As long as we recognize that numbers without variables are like terms, then it works out fine. So we're going to get rid of that term. All right, so now that we've done this, let's kind of speed up here. I have 9x cubed plus 4x cubed. What am I going to get? 13x cubed. Okay? The addition, or the positive sign, lets me know to add. Oh, thank you, cubed. Okay. Negative 7x squared plus 4x squared. Negative 3x squared minus 3x squared. So negative 6x squared. And then our last term is just negative x. So I pretty much did everything in one step. The last three terms, all of these, are different. All of their variables are different exponents, so there's no more simplifying. That is technically the final answer. All right, we have another question here. This one looks far more complex. We have two variables, and they're attached to every single coefficient. Uh, I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six terms. Okay. Now, in order to group like terms, we talked about this before, all of the variables' exponents must be the same. So since these variables are all multiplied by each other, this really says 4 times h to the power of 4 times j. We need to have variables, the same two variables with the same two exponents. So just to make things a little clearer, anytime we have a variable with no number, I'm just going to put the number 1 up there. There's a 1, and there's a 1. Okay. So I need to look for variables that have the exact same exponents. So I'm looking for a pair of variables that say h to the power of 4 and j to the power of 1. Does this one fall under that category? No. H is a 3, J is 2, doesn't work. Does this one? No, both are to 2. How about this one? Yeah, Yeah. we have H to the power of 4, J1, and the last one. 
So both of those fall under that category, so I'm just going to highlight them in the same color so that I know that we'll be combining all of those variables. Okay? Using that same rule, h to the power of 3, j2, what other number works with that? 15h. 15h, great. So we have negative 14h cubed j squared plus 15h cubed j squared. And finally, this term, again, there are no other like variables. So there's nothing to combine in that question. So we're going to put these three together. Okay? 4 plus 13? 17. 17 minus 17? Zero. So I don't have to really write anything in. These guys have all created a zero, or you guys probably know it better as cancelling out. Uh, the other two, negative 14h cubed j squared plus 15, 1, so we have 1h cubed j squared. And then the other one is the only one uh, of its kind, so 16h squared j2. That's it. That's it.